Batter up, sports card fans. Check out the view of Cardboard Promotions show. It was uh, in Peabody this time. Usually it was in Mansfield back in back in my day. Um, but this was about an hour into the show, and it was a steady stream, not overcrowded. It was a great show because it had awesome slabs, and then it had tons and tons of value boxes you could sit down. Um, amazing sellers uh, like this one, Game Time Break Breaks, coming soon. Um, they are going to start launching their breaks, but check out HGA, SGC, BGS, PSA, everything's in here. Look at this Gronk patch. It's, it's a massive, massive case. And he uh, kind of stumbled upon a great little Mac Jones uh, collection, and it included this card, which was kind of cool. I know Leaf does this a lot with the 101s, um, but that was kind of a cool little printing plate. Uh, nice pull, nice underscore pull. Might be be one of the best showcases for me personally every card here i absolutely love and i uh i told him i was going to come back and make a deal with him after i finished my coffee i like to have a little coffee and walk around and uh and i completely forgot to go back and make a deal so the next time i see him this is the second show i've seen him at i gotta go and work a deal because uh, i love some of those cards uh, and a big thing i saw here was a lot of soccer cards so soccer is definitely heating up I love this Mia Ham card. Look at that signature. So nice. So, so nice. Speaking of nice signatures, Johnny Busick uh, hanging out, signing license plates, but eh, okay. Uh, that's what's great about these kind of shows. Um, you get kind of something, uh, everything. Look at these little batting gloves. More on that later. Um, and uh, also, uh, Dak Elite Sports has a great giveaway going on right now, so feel free to head on over to his page. Uh, nice couple little Celtics uh, cards there, a couple nice Brady's, little Mahomes. I'm telling you, this show has everything. Um, it's got absolute goats, like holy grails, people call them, and then it's just got absolutely perfect little value boxes that... You could just sit down and get lost in and spend $10 and walk away with 100 cards. So um, there really is a ton of stuff. Legends Only 7 um, is... Uh, I wish I could go home with all of these cards that they have here. This broke my heart. Look at... I love these sweet spot things, but you can see the damage that the baseball has on such a great card. These two Patriots cards were unbelievable. Um, it just, it seems like every card that they have, we're going to zoom in on a few of these in a moment, but it seems like every card that they have is just an absolute banger. And, uh, so really, really excited to see some of those. I love this Griffey and each row one, uh, four or five, the Tom Brady autograph, rookie autograph. I mean, oh, how do you go wrong with some of these early Brady cards i mean that, that one's 2014 but still looks beautiful and then gretzky next to ted williams and bobby door i mean uh it's so so awesome to see all of these cards and jeremy here uh had a great case uh i was eyeing some of these short prints and then if you look carefully there might be one card here that we're gonna feature in a moment so there's a little teaser for you Really love that gold Acuna. Uh, the Bat Down SGC 9. Oh my god. I love I love Kevin Euclid, but I'm so sorry that Derek Jeter to Derek Jeter, because Euclid on that card ruins it. <laughs> but I love I love me some Euke, so no no hate there, but that's just an unfortunate card that did not age well at all. <laughs> um, but like I said, this card show had something for everyone, memorabilia, vintage, modern, soccer. It had every sport and uh, even some pop uh, stuff. And then uh, just so many great uh, items of memorabilia like the, the photos and the matted frames. So it really was a great card show all around. And I, uh, I'm very much excited to go the next time. So I'll link their website in the description below. Uh, make sure you check them out and uh, you can uh, see their uh, upcoming shows. And now let's check out what I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed that footage. Check out up here for actually the first time I went to that card show. I only spent like 15 to 20 minutes there because uh, I didn't have a lot of time that day, but I wanted to pop in and get some footage for you guys. Uh, but also I wanted to see what it was. Cardboard Promotions has been one of my favorite 
um, very, very reasonably priced autograph signings for like people like my, like fan favorite type people. Dana Barris was one of the, my all time favorite Celtics players growing up. And I was able to get his autograph there uh, just before um, everything shut down in uh, 2018, I think I went there. Um, so it's stuff like that that um, that really is awesome. Um, super, I think I paid like 11 bucks or something like that for, for to meet my childhood hero. So they've always put on a great, great show. Um, and the card show, as I was mentioning earlier, a uh, lot of vintage, a lot of... That's really the, the 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 following they have is all like you know uh, Johnny Busick being there totally makes that is absolutely who would go to that so uh, really really excited to go there I only made a few pickups uh, but they're all doozies in my opinion so first off uh, for a two for ten dollar deal um, I didn't have a really good patch of Schilling uh, Schilling obviously is a polarizing guy. Um, but this was just a great patch, um, really wanted it and, uh, I wanted to put it on display on, I have a shelf in my man cave that I'm building the 2004 world series. Uh, so I wanted a few of these little things to, um, showcase and the price is right for $5 each on these two. This is my first Keith Folk, um, game used, uh, Jersey. Uh, card. So that was really cool. You don't see too much of him out there. Um, so I thought that was really, really cool. They look almost like pretty similar. So, so stylistically that's, uh, that was pretty cool. Um, and I think they'll look really nice on the shelf. So, um, that's cool. So I got those two. Um, and then the next one, I mentioned that, uh, this was going to be, uh, something that we would talk about in this video, um, earlier and here it is so um this is a bucket list card for me absolutely um i have his regular one um the case is a little foggy so i might try a little uh like goo gone or something like that to try to get some of this this the smudging off of here but you can definitely tell that's on the case not the card um but what I would like to call attention to is look at how clean, like, the corners are, everything about this. Why it got an eight is because of the back. So take a look at the back here, the, the chipping around the edges. All right, so the back is really beat up. But the eye appeal of this, the centering is gorgeous. The, uh, everything about the, the, the front of it the, I mean, the corners are in pristine condition for what the back looks like. So for me, I thought the eye appeal and also just like chrome looks so much better now. It's so funny how, how different it looked back then. Um, but to have this collect the card, not the grade, um, that's all I need. A PSA 8 of that. And uh, I highly recommend you go check out Jeff. Uh, I, I, I'll tag him right here too great deal uh he was working on a monumental deal it was so funny i was very patiently waiting off to the side he was great about it his son was great about it. they're like hey can we help you and i was like do your deal man like i'm not gonna get in the way of this like i have no no time i i have all the time in the world to waste don't worry about it and they were kind of in the middle and he was like hey like what do you what do you want to see what do you want to check out and i was like i want this one and as you could see there was a 300 hundred dollar price tag on it in the video However, um, we worked on a great deal and it was so painless. It was just like, hey, I'm thinking this. Hey, I'm thinking this. Cool. Let's let's meet in the middle. We got it. And in the middle of his deal, like he was just working on that deal. And uh, and then <laughs> he just made a, a quick, uh, quick little sale in between. Then went back to his monumental deal. Like there was like some really big cards being dis discussed with a fellow uh, collector. So um very much suggest checking out Jeff. He's going to Dallas, um, and I believe he said he was setting up as a, t uh, a table there. So um, absolutely hit him up. If you see anything in his case that you are interested in and you need his contact information, please feel free to message me on Instagram or Twitter, and uh, I'll happily hook you guys up. Um, and then finally, I also said that there was going to be something else we were going to talk about, and this is something I normally would not do 
and I would say uh, I wouldn't advise on this, but at a certain point, you need to just kind of trust your gut and you trust, you know, the, I guess the trustworthiness of the person. And then just take a look at the product and realize that if it's too good to be true, it probably is. But in the rare case that something like this pops up, I thought it was worth the gamble. Um, it, the price was right. I talked him down. More like he talked me down, but I could not walk away from David Ortiz's, at the bare minimum, game-issued gloves. Um, so you get the awesome, awesome stitching there. Um, I mean, they don't sell these as far as I know. Feel free to comment down below if you have been able to find these online. I was not able to find them online before I purchased them and um, haven't looked too much since to see, but uh, these are the game, you, the, the gloves that he used in 2014. There's that great, great video and might might possibly have done it in the 2013 uh, 2013 World Series. Uh, more research has to go into that. But um, at the very least, it's from this photo right here. And what an iconic photo. These are the gloves that he was potentially wearing in that photo. I'm not getting my hopes up about that, though. Um, and so the cool thing is you can kind of tell, like, uh, this is a brand new world to me. Um, but it's one that I'm excited that I get to kind of try to dip my toes into. But you can look at gloves and find like imperfections, like see the stitching here on the fingers. And then I can go to that photo of, of him with the necklace. And does this stitching match up with that photo? Um, it's that kind of stuff that you can kind of find. Like this has uh, an imperfection right here. Um, you know, you can kind of see the fabric coming up through there. And so I can pour through uh, every game from that season and look for clues to see if uh, these gloves are game used, um, which as Mrs. Dub said, uh, please do anything else with your time. <laughs> but I actually kind of see it as a, a fun little challenge to do probably just this one time. Um, because if I can prove that these gloves are from that picture of him with the the necklace that would be unbelievable um and from what i've already seen i mean obviously the first thing you look at is like okay well they don't look used you know um but from some of the photos that i already looked at it looks like he used possibly a fresh pair every game because there's not a lot of pine tar going on on most of his gloves so it'll be interesting um at the very least the guy I got these from it worked as the Red Sox parking attendant for like 30 years. Um, and so he just has a great collection. I want to get his number so I can have a beer with him and possibly see whatever his man cave looks like. Because holy moly, um, he's got to have a great collection based on the stories that he was telling me. And that's where I kind of say you kind of just have to trust your gut at, at a certain point. He seemed so legit and uh, it was worth it to take a chance on this with a great price um, that at the very least they're, they're David Ortiz issued gloves. And if I go and get him to sign one of these, then that's all I care about, you know? So I'm not looking to, you know, sell these for $4,000 cause they're authenticated game use. You know what I mean? So these are just going to stay in my collection, in my man cave for the rest of my life. And, uh, I think they're just really cool. I remember them vividly because I hated the neon. <laughs> I hated the neon. I was like, why would you have neon? It doesn't like match the the, the team colors. Um, but then he had them for that photo with the necklace. And then I immediately fell in love with them because of that. So um, so a nice little haul from from the, the show. Um, we're going to. Well, that that's here you go. You can see the haul. And then the lasting impression I want is, is this. This is what I want. So um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below what you think on the pickups and what you would have done if you were in my place. And then uh, head on over to Instagram and Twitter at GDubsCollects and give me a follow there. Keep the hobby alive by supporting your local card show and keep on collecting.